Hello, my peoples, my peepers. This is Shaleen, the color in book nook. It is Sunday, December 27th, and what's going on today? Yes, what's going on today? Well, let me look at today's weather. Oh, I didn't put that in the right spot. So yesterday, what did I do? Not, <laughs> not much. Um, I watched live streams. Yep. Took a nap. Watched more live streams. I'm, that's all I did yesterday. Oh, and I diamond painted it a little last night. I didn't want to start a new kit because all of mine are large. And... I forgot that I had the canvas bin that I won from Craft and Journey. So, oh, we have a weather alert today. So I decided to work on that. Anyways, weather for today. Let's see. Today's weather. Let's read the alert. It is going to be 32... Partly sunny. Well, I don't know where the partly sunny is because it is not sunny out right now. It is very cloudy. I don't trust the weather when it looks like this. So let's see what my alert says. Wind advisory in effect from 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Monday. So tomorrow. Southwest winds 20 to 30 mile per hour with gusts up to 50. Nice. Nice. So, all day Monday. Okay. So, weather alert. <laughs> so, partly cloudy. I'm just going to put cloudy because... I have a feeling we aren't going to see the sun. I don't know why. That's just something that's telling me. Because I've been up, what, half an hour? And I haven't seen the sun. I'd be surprised if I don't see snow. So I am one of those that only got not even an inch yesterday. My son, Justin, where he lives, when I talked to him last, they had about six inches of snow, and it was still snowing yesterday where he lives. And Deborah, that lives in Lancaster, said that they had, what, 18? Is that what she said, 18 inches? And she's only half an hour from me. 45 minutes. No, half an hour because Justin's even half an hour from me. So, yeah. Yep. And the next, the town that I live in, but I'm out in the country, they got a few inches. But out here in the country, I did not get that. Weird. Weird how the weather is. And sometimes when the sky looks like it does right now and they're not calling for snow, that's pretty scary. <laughs> Just saying. <clears throat> yep. So I have no plans to watch TV today. There's nothing on. There's no new Hallmark movies. There were no new Hallmark movies last night. It is nice for a change. Okay, so there is that. And today I need to do laundry. Today I'm reaching out saying hope you have a Merry Christmas. Hope you had a Merry Christmas to Mona Jimenez. 
um, my morning video, a plan with me video, which I did yesterday and accidentally uploaded it. I was uploading it and I was supposed to schedule it for today and I didn't schedule it and so it's already up. I got to set up my January A5-6 ring, um, ring planner with my Coco Daisy. I want to cross stitch. I want to watch live streams and, well, diamond paint on this canvas bin. Hey, I don't know what we're having for dinner yet. <clears throat> okay, so this is what I'm working on. I won it off of Craft and Journey for, they had her and J-Rob had giveaways. And J. Rob gave me the um, the gnome and Craft and Journey, which is Rebecca gave me this. So I'm like, I need to do this now. The only thing is, I'm not sure what is a good sealer for this, because I'm definitely going to want to seal this, because it's being used for storage. And then I have, I'm going to tell you something. I'm, I'm doing some changes around this house. Scott agreed with me. So, let's see. This number, whoops, I don't want to throw that out. What number was this? That's five. I want six. There it is. I don't want to throw this out yet because I'll forget what number this is. Six has the black diagonals. Okay, so let's work on this in chat. So what else did I do yesterday? I made a... pork tenderloin and since I made such a huge toss salad for Christmas Day we had some of that plus I had the toss salad for lunch yesterday and we'll eat up more of it today and then I probably will have to toss it I'm not sure we'll see what it looks like on Monday I usually can get like three four days out of my toss salads because um, I buy everything fresh I'm going to say, did I bring my coffee in? Yes, I did. So, I chilled out all day yesterday. I didn't do anything except cook dinner. Did I do dishes? I did dishes. So, I did do something. I took like a two-hour nap in the afternoon because I was just so exhausted yesterday. So I took a two hour nap, but I did watch live streams. I watched, I was in Michelle's while I had breakfast. I think that was it for the morning. I don't know. I talked to Scott for a while. I Scott gave me a $50 gift card to Amazon. <coughs> so I went on and I ordered the um, Faber-Castell Gold Faber pencils because I have a 12 set and I like them. And they only come in, what, a 48 set? That's the largest. So I ordered that. 
and I ordered a diaper caddy. Let me show you the diaper caddy. So I ordered the diaper caddy. Because it works really, really well for planners. And I'm not kidding. I, somebody used it in one of their planner videos and they showed how they set it up and I can't remember who it is and I hope I saved it. So this is, it's called, the brand is Molly Alley. Molly Alley Premium Baby Diaper Caddy Organizer, Portable Nursery Storage Bin, Planner Caddy, Portable Craft Storage Organizer, Car Seat Tote with a Zipper Pocket and 5mm Heavy Dalt. Duty felt gray turquoise. It only comes in gray and turquoise. And it's really sturdy. So someone used it in their planner kit. So the planners, and you can move these around. But she had the planners in one section, which I would only need two planners. And she bought like the the nice jars. Um, thinner, not the wide jars, but the thinner jars, and she set them inside in her gel pen sitting there, and I just loved it. So, I can't remember who showed it in their video. See, there's your craft, so they've, you know, and you just carry it from room to room. Well, since I like to use my planners all the time, you just carry this around from room to room because I'm in here and sometimes I'm in the family room. So I ordered that. It's $27.97, and um, my, so I ordered that, and then I ordered my pencils. Yeah, the Faber-Castell, you get 48 it's a tin of 48. So, yeah, that's the largest that they have. So, I can't wait to get that. Because I do use something right now. It's, it's, um... It's a knockoff of like 31, but it's not quite big enough. So this one from Amazon, it's bigger and I got to go into Alfster and take it off my wish list. And I have to go in and I hope hopefully I saved that video I save a lot of planner videos so I can go back and watch them so I'm sure it's saved and if it is I will share it in one of my planner videos I also have Steam yard, stream yard for um, live streaming so that I can live stream in other people's streams. So um, look for that. I think it's Tuesday. I was asked to go in with someone on her stream. So I plan on doing that. She asked me yesterday, I said yes. So her and I are gonna do a test one today. But um I don't I won't be using it for making videos because I'm using the free version. Otherwise I can pay twenty dollars a month and then I can use it for recording. I'm like, no, I'll just keep the free one for live streaming when people want me to, but I'm so used to my OBS that I don't really want to give that up. So, you know, once I use the StreamYard a couple times, I'll probably like it. And I may stick to that for live streams. I don't know yet. 
We will see. So yesterday I was looking again at organizing craft rooms, setting up craft rooms. Well, this room is very small, so there's not a whole hell of a lot I can do. And the other bedroom, which was Dylan's, is very, very tiny. All he could fit in there was his twin bed and a dresser. It's very small. So I was going to convert it into a guest room for when, like, Catherine is here. You know, Lisa was hoping she'd be here again, but she can't leave her parents anymore. So I don't know when I will see Lisa again. But, um, yeah, Catherine's been here, you know, once or twice a year. And my grandsons, they sleep on the couch, so it's not a big deal with them. They don't spend the night very often. So I said to Scott, do I really need to convert it to a guest room? Because no one stays here, really. It's not worth losing a room over. <clears throat> so he agreed. And so we are going to convert that room into my craft storage room. So the bookcases that sit behind me will go in there against the one wall. And the How did I say this? The wall that this table is against can have shelves all on it because it has the the metal tracks that are vertical and you can put as many shelves as you want. Well, I already own the shelves, but I only have one up because the table is here. So I want to rearrange things in this room. So the, the bookcases will go and on the shelves in here will probably go the diamond painting kits well actually what i said was um have the shelves start up at the point where the diamond painting because i store my diamond painting kits vertical in the canvas bins the storage bins so I said I can store the bins underneath the shelves. And he said, yep. That'll give me more room in here. And I can move this table over where the bookshelves were, where my coloring supplies are, my coloring books that. What I wanted was to get an island, but this room is so small. And I said, well... Another thing I could do is take the TV in here and mount it to the wall. As Dylan wa thinks that I should hook the TV up to my laptop so that I have a bigger screen to watch. But then I wouldn't have shelves. And I don't know... I don't know if Scott would like to, I don't know, I mean, I can move things around in here. It's not that big of a deal because I could actually move the TV against the wall behind me where the coloring books are and move my table there so that I'm facing the TV but I have all these ideas and but this room is so small and I need to replace the floor and Scott has been working his ass off trying to get this ceiling to stop leaking I mean he's been working on it for years and every time he comes up with an idea he can't find the supplies he needs so he knows what he knows what he thinks will work just has to do it so I told him 
if you can get the ceiling, and this ceiling hardly leaks at all, but once in a great while it will, and I can't have things stored in that where it leaks. So, once he gets that under control, I can get a new ceiling in here because this room looks like shit. <laughs> it really does. And he's trying. So, that's our goal. Just to get a lot of stuff out of here. And I have those rollaway carts. I have one that has my planner stuff in it. And I want one more. I want a bigger one with coloring. So I can roll it down the hall, go into that room where I'll be storing my coloring books, pick the coloring books and the pencils that I want to use for the month, and store them in the cart. And then the cart would be in here. Or I can roll the cart out when I'm not coloring that day so that it's not taking up a lot of room. There's a lot of... There's a lot of things I'm, I've am i got an idea I want to do. It's just incorporating it to what works for me. <clears throat> As I showed him this really organized craft room, and it had an island in the middle, and he looks at me and goes, where do you think you're going to put the island? And I said, I don't know. I liked the island it showed because it had um, drawers and shelves. And I said, that would be perfect, too. We'll see. I mean, there's no way I could bring in my drafting table. That has to stay in the family room. Because this room is not big enough. But yeah, I come up with ideas, what I want to do, and he's like, okay. So this is, cr these are crystals, these are not... Um, regular drills, diamond drills, these are crystals, and I'm liking it. I kept saying I don't want to get into the crystal paintings, nope, 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 but I'm liking this. So yeah, that was my brilliant idea, coming and going and talking to Scott about what I want to do. And he thinks that storing my crafts in that room would be better than having it as a guest room. Because this room is just getting overrun. I would keep the dresser in here that I have in here because that has a drawer. Most of the drawers in there are for cross stitching, but I think I'm going to go through them. And dwindle that down too. And I have one drawer that has everything for like Travel's Notebook Journal and some regular journals. So I've got to go through that and it has stickers in there and I need to I need to reorganize that drawer. You know, trying to find use so that this is set up in here. Because right now, I don't have room to put my, the little caddy I use for my planners. This sits on the floor here next to my chair. Okay, I need my, I need a sip of coffee. So, 
Yep, those are my bright plans. I have plans all the time, and he just looks at me. <laughs> but that'll be down the road because, you know, his job's going to be gone in another month. Supposedly, they keep saying that. So we will see, we will see. Okay, so I watched live streams yesterday. I watched Michelle for a little bit. I was going to watch Grace, but she wasn't on. Her tripod broke. And I was taking a nap. <clears throat> what else? I watched... Hmm. I wrote them all down. Let's see. Oh, I watched CBC Color and Book Club. I didn't stay in there a long time. I was in there a little bit. But I enjoy going in hers. I was in there for a little bit and then I went into Minnie's Diamond Bowman. I was in her live stream. And then I went into Abigail's. Abigail had Elizabeth Inslee on, co-hosting with her, and Elizabeth is owner of Enablers Outpost. She makes the diamond painting pens and cover minders and stuff, so I did contact her and said, okay, I want another one of your pens. I would like one that's shamrock green so I can switch it out in March. So right after the live stream, she messaged me and said that she was looking for shamrock glitter. I'm like, oh, that'll be cool. So... I guess she ordered shamrock glitter and she will get back to me. And she uses the Texas tips and she gets them from Patriotic Team. So, yes, because I like my Texas tip that I have on my Patriotic Team pen. And I want to order some more Texas tips. So, yep. In fact, Stephanie of Patriotic Team had just announced that I guess she's pregnant. So, congrats. But, yep. And that'll be the last pen that I need to order. And then I just want to replace everything all the tips and probably my multi-placers but I'm not gonna buy multi-placers for every single pen because I can switch them out every month I mean I could the the single tips too but the single tips I'll just switch them all but the multi-placers I can switch them in and out of the pens <clears throat> I don't use the multi-placers very often because most of my diamond paintings have confetti and I don't like multi-placing with square drills and I have a lot of those.
So yeah, I love my pen from Bistro Blanks. I love my pen from my from Enablers Outpost. My pen from Patriotic Team, and I have a couple from Jim's Handmade Shop. And those are all my favorites. I have some clay pens, but I still like the feel of the acrylic. They're thicker, which I, I, you might be able to get the clay pens thicker. I'm not sure, but I like the acrylic pens. Nothing against, because Billy, did you see some of the blinks he's made for his um, clay pens? They're gorgeous. So is Crashley's and Tia's. Anyways, today, let's see who's live streaming. So at noon is Crafting Journey. And yes, I will be in hers because I try not to miss Rebecca's live streams. Also at noon is April Sarah. She's a colorist and she also does booktube on her channel. Um, I'm not sure if Jen Jen's creations wall is on today. At 2.30, maybe Shell Artie. Again, I'm going by, by previous schedules. Some I already know. Um, 3 o'clock is Kale's Crafts, and I always go in hers. And again, these are all Eastern Standard Time. 3 o'clock, I also have down Shawana Creative Circle. Not sure if she's on all the time at that time. Um, 6 o'clock is me with Mad Libs. And can you believe it? I was on Amazon and they have adult Mad Libs. So I don't have to use the children's Mad Libs and convert them. So I ordered three adult Mad Lib books. That ought to be interesting. I already told Scott it's Sunday. I'm doing Mad Libs. Also at 6 o'clock is Color with Faithful Girl 1978. That is Belinda. She'll be coloring, I'm sure. Sometimes she diamond, I don't know if she, she diamond paints on her channel and sometimes she works on her miniatures. At 7 o'clock is Crashly. Also at 7 o'clock is Gemini Adult Coloring. 8.30 is on Instagram is Crafting Journey. So I, may do, I might go into that one too. Not sure yet. Otherwise, I, yeah, because if Crashly goes on at 7, then at 8.30, I have, that gives me an hour and a half to be in hers. And I'll go into Craft and Journeys for half an hour. And then at 9 o'clock is Diamond Painting with Diamond Dave. And I have not been in his live stream in two months. Because I've been watching all the Hallmark Christmas movies. And I miss going into his. So if he's on tonight, I will be there. So, yep. And once this is done, I am going to be cross-stitching today. <clears throat> going to be cross-stitching. And I'll be cross-stitching Mon Monday through Thursday. Because Friday is the first, and I will be starting... Mad Kitty for my Alice Salon. I'm doing Mad Kitty with Frishon and Robin. And Mad Kitty is a Diamond Art Club. So 
So I'll be working on that on the first. Won't be first thing in the morning because the first is when I, while I'm watching, if they're having the Tournament of Roses parade, I watch that and I take down all the ornaments and lights off my tree, get the tree out of the house, and I undecorate the house. So I always do that on the first in the morning. And then I fix a turkey dinner. Just me and Scott. And because as of right now, Dylan, Amber, and the boys will be here New Year's Eve, I will not be doing a live stream diamond painting. I will put up a video probably in the morning. of um, coloring in the new Hannah Lynn book, Holidays, Celebrations. I am going to start the picture of the New Year's one because we don't really celebrate with champagne in that on New Year's Day. We do all that on New Year's Eve. So I am going to start that picture with you guys and New Year's Day I don't know if I will put up a what's going on today video I might take that day off from making videos because I have a lot going on that day Plus, I'll be going to bed late. Well, I go to bed late all the time anyways. Yep. I don't know. New Year's Day. I may do a what's going on today but it's not going to be in the morning not unless i get up early before the parade starts if i get up early before the parade starts i can do the video otherwise you guys are going to have to wait till after the parade and if there is no parade then it won't be an issue So, yeah, got two stuck there. So what are you guys doing today? Are you still recuperating from Christmas? I'm done here. I've got to take a shower. Well, I need breakfast and then take a shower. And I'm doing laundry all day. I think that's about all I'm doing today. And live streams. Not sure what I'm fixing for dinner yet. I've got to go look in the freezer. Maybe chicken. Chicken sounds good. Might do chicken. Stupid me. Should have taken it out yesterday. I could have put it in the crock pot. Although I have been known to put frozen meat in my crock pot. I don't see what the big deal is. It cooks it all the way through. So I may do that. What time is it now? It's 9.48. Yeah, I got time for breakfast and shower before Craft and Journey comes on. She doesn't come on till noon, so that gives me two hours. I got plenty of time. 
to get things done today before she comes on. Actually, you know what sounds really good is hamburgers, but I don't have any. A cheeseburger on the grill sounds so good. And yes, we use the grill in the winter time. Scott still likes to grill outside even in the winter. We have a metal awning that goes over our porch and sidewalk so the grill is under that the awning on the sidewalk so he still uses it I have a package coming tomorrow. That's what USPS says in my email. That it will be delivered tomorrow. It's coming from Illinois. And I have no clue what it is. I have no idea. We will see. But I know my Amazon is supposed to be here today. And that's with the adult Mad Libs. So hopefully it will still be here today so we can use them tonight. If not, we'll use my regular Mad Libs. But things look like they're starting to move again in the postal system. Since I got my Coco Daisy yesterday, I was so thrilled. I'm like, yes, I just wanted it by the first. Oh, and Justin... He bought me something and it never came in the mail yet. So he had, he bought me a box of tea for Christmas and another item. So he said the other item he hadn't gotten yet. So yesterday he walked to his best friend's house because they live in the same apartment complex. So he walked to her apartment and he gets there and because they're exchanging gifts yesterday, and he said he turned on, turned on his laptop or his phone, and he says he got an email that his package for me and his best friend had both come in his mailbox. So he's like, I don't want to walk back to my apartment. My face froze walking here. Wonder if they'll give me a ride back to my apartment. So I don't know if he ended up walking or not, but... He went to his post box, and there's no package. So he says, yeah, so neither packages are in my mailbox. And I said, well, maybe your mailbox isn't big enough. And he said, we have a mailbox that's for packages, and they just put a key. We get a key for it. And I said, okay. So... He said, well, I can't call the post office. He goes, I, I looked, and the only phone number it gives me is that 800 number. So I Google his post office, and sure enough, there's a website, and their phone number's on it. So I text him back and said, they do so have a phone number. It's on their website. So I gave it to him. So he called and explained what happened, and of course, they can't take the blame for it. Of course not. Does anybody ever take the blame anymore for their actions? It's not our problem. You will have to call the police and file a complaint that it was stolen. No, it was not stolen, you idiot. You didn't give it to the right mailbox. So I told Justin, just wait it out. Give it a couple days. Maybe you have, you know, a nice neighbor who got it that will bring it to you. And he goes, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. So, yeah, a couple hours later, whoever mailbox his packages got put in, they brought it to him. I'm like, you can't file a stolen report yet. 
You got to give the person who received it a couple days to get it to you. Because he seems to live in a really nice apartment complex. They don't let in just anybody. They're kind of picky who they let in. So I had a feeling that someone would give it to him. So I told him, well, if you are coming over to give it to me today, can you please stop at Joann's or Michael's? Because I need two skeins of one floss. But he didn't come over. I didn't think he would. I think because the weather wasn't so nice in Batavia. <clears throat> Maybe he'll come today. I don't know. Okay, I'm done with this color, so I will... Where's my pen? Put these in a baggie. And we're done today. How long was my video today? 46 minutes. I haven't done a long video in a long time. And I know some of you like the longer videos and you like the whip and chats. I just don't always have something to talk about. Today, I guess I'm a little bit of a chatterbox. <laughs> I'm not always a chatterbox. I guess because I'm really excited and I want to do something with this room. I want it to be more accessible for me. Plus, this portable air conditioner takes up a lot of room and he leaves it in here. He doesn't want to store it in the shed because he's afraid that mice will ruin it. Nothing I can do about the mice. I mean, he could put mothballs all around the outside walls of the shed. Well, I don't know if that will even keep them away. But that is it for today. I hope that you like this little bit of chatting and it was just like squirrel and all out there so i have four more colors to put on this and they're not round this one's a big round and these are shapes see that big round ones and then the shapes so that's what i'm going to work on and once this is done then i'm going to cross stitch and work on justin's gift for next year <laughs> and again, using my pen from Bistro Blanks, and it has a micro dot in here. And then once December's over, I will be going back to my Rachel's Galaxy from Enablers Outpost. And I think I'm going to take out the pen or the tip and put in either i have i think one more everlasting tip left and i have i think three two or three more of the texas tips so one of them will get put in this and then i'll probably glue in a multi-placer because my multi-placers aren't fitting in this i'll probably and i have a i have so many of them it's not going to hurt to glue it in so i'll probably do that but, yep, this will go away till next December. I really like it. But I don't want a lot of diamond paint and pens in here. I keep them all in my, the bin in my um, drafting table. So, yep, I'm just keeping these two in here for now. Maybe further on down the road when I have money, I can afford to get a few more to keep in this room. But for now, that's, that'll be it. So I will talk to you all later. Oh, yeah, I got to make a... I got to set up my Coco Daisy for January, too. That's the other video I have to do. Think I can do all this by noon? Let's hope so. <laughs> I will talk to you all later. Love you guys. Bye-bye.